government reacted to international condemnation of the violence which forced the Rohingya Muslims to flee Rakhine State by promising help to, so that they could start a new life if they chose to return. For the past year, Myanmar's government has not allowed us to travel to northern Rakhine State, but now, finally, we've got permission to go to an event there. But now we're told some of those displaced in the bloodshed are coming back. We're invited to see 250 new homes and the people who will live in them. They've been paid for by neighbouring India. This family are waiting to talk to us, although it turns out they won't be sleeping here tonight. They'll be going back to their nearby village. Because these are not the Rohingya Muslims coming home. Like everyone we meet here, they're Hindus. How would you feel if your Muslim neighbours came back? We wouldn't like it, Tongse tells us. A lot of Hindus were killed in Muslim villages. Many outsiders believe Rakhine State is still soaked in religious hatred and that it's not safe for different communities to live side by side. But ministers claim progress is being made and today are celebrating their efforts. Well, they're battling on with this event despite the relentless rain, and that's because Myanmar's government is desperate to show that it's doing things in Rakhine State to try and improve lives. Minister, the, the, the families today are Hindu families. for the Rohingya families. Yes, also for that. And now they are not only for the Hindu, Hindu people, but also for the, uh, the Muslim people and also for the Rakhine people. And the project will become more and more. Up to half a million Rohingya Muslims who didn't flee the 2017 persecution remain in Rakhine State.